Hi, I'm Kat. And I'm Sherry. And, and we're, we're Life in Lewisburg. Lewisburg. <laughs> I think that worked. It's a little harder to say, a little bit of a mouthful, yeah. but we've got it. We might need some practice, yeah. but we'll get there. So Let's start out by explaining a little bit about what we're doing here. Yeah. You're good at that. Okay. You go. All right. Well, basically, Life in Lewisburg is a place where we're going to be covering what's happening this weekend, things to do in the area, interesting people and businesses. Which we do have a... A play date today. Yes, we do. We have a very interesting person to talk to, but <laughs> no. we'll, we'll, we'll save this, make the suspense for later. Okay. First female guest, I will say. That's yes. pretty cool. Yeah, it's very cool. But first I want to talk about the weather. A um, little warmer than they were calling for. Yeah, all week. At first I thought it was going to be rainy and 50 degrees, and then here it's gorgeous again. It's going up to 60 degrees. My daughter's wearing her winter coat, and she was mad at me because I was like, it's going to be so cold, and 6 degrees. So, so what did you do this weekend? Well, I went to downtown Lewisburg to stroll through the arts. And Friday night, there was tons of people out and about, which was really fun. And saw lots of people, ate some good food. And then Saturday, we went to the Badleys, and that was at Brasserie <laughs> Louis. Really awesome. They were really, really awesome. I, you know, never heard them in a small bar before. Yeah. Did they right? ask about me? Like, well, they, <laughs> did they say we need yeah, to stay with us? they did. Um, but yeah, we saw lots of good, fun people out. Saw Chris, Tony Fabian, and Dennis Miller, and all kinds of downtown people, and it was really fun. I was supposed to go, but I ate too many of the kids' candy on oh. Halloween. It's gone now. <laughs> yeah. I just Good. I took all the chocolate and ate it, so it's all gone. <laughs> all right. And I got a stomach ache. So. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm glad you had a good time. And if you watched the show last week, we did um, highlight what was going on downtown, downtown to let you know. So that's probably the best way to find out. That's right. And try and keep it quick and give times, places, and who's going to be where. So you know you can make your weekend plans. We have our first female guest to come on the show. Is this exciting or this what? This is very exciting. It is Tina McDowell, the Executive Director for the Union County United Way. Great job, and it's a pretty new position for her. Yeah, she just started this year. She took over from for Cindy Needham, who was there for a long time and did a really terrific job. And now Tina's in charge, and she's going to come and tell us all about their, their campaign, because they're in the midst of their annual campaign. So we'll bring her in. Come on in, Tina. Well, our goal this year is $250,000, which is the same as last year, and we're in the midst right now. The campaign runs through the end of November, and um, we're doing pretty well. Uh, we're a little over 50%, which is typical for this time of year, so, yeah. Now, do you have up. the goal, they used to have the goal things, the, like, do you the have those? Yep, there's yeah. one in front of the Lewisburg Post Office, there's one in the West End, because we cover all of Union County, and there's one in Mifflinburg. Can you tell us what the United Way does? The United Way is a social service agency. We fund 22 other social service agencies in Union County. So if I were, I'm a parent, so how would I benefit from what United Way does? Um, well, for instance, um, we allocate money to different agencies that your kids might be involved with, like the YMCA in Milton, the Donald Peter Center, um, the libraries in Union County. So some of the programs that your kids might be involved in in those agencies are funded partially or wholly by us. It's also great, the United Way, because it's almost like one-stop sh one stop shopping as far as where your donations go, because you can donate to the United Way, and it helps all these agencies. So that's right. That's a great thing to do. You don't have to, you can allocate your money where it goes to. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. that's right. yeah. so, well, do you have anything else you want to add before we go? No, I think if the United Way, um, like I said, benefits so many people in our local community that um, if anyone would like to get involved, there's always a way to do that, whether it's volunteering or donating. So That's great. great. Well, thanks so much for coming today, Tina. And good luck with everything. You. Thank you. I hope you make your, make your goal. Thanks. And we'll help you. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so I'm Kat. And I'm Sherry. And this is Life in Lewisburg. We'll be back later in the week for more news. Events. More right? news about what's going on this weekend. So catch you later. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun.